What's up everybody, Forrest here, and I'm with Hallie today. This is the first part of a brand new segment that is gonna be all about uh, friends of mine, essentially. I wanna open boxes like this one right here, 23-24 Finest UEFA Club Competitions. I wanna open old quirky boxes, um, gaming, Pokemon. Uh, I wanna feature somebody new every single time I do this. I wanted to have someone to talk to and engage with. I wanna go over grading submissions. The, the list is honestly endless. Discussing new releases, uh, favorite things, things I like and dislike. Uh, so the first one today, I wanna to talk about soccer cards. Um, love soccer cards, but the journey to getting into soccer cards for me uh, wasn't exactly easy. I'm super excited to open this because I have no knowledge about soccer and I know Forrest now has a really deep knowledge of soccer. So as we're opening this box of cards, I'm really gonna pick his brain and just ask him any question that pops in my head. So hopefully we can learn something together for anybody out there that is in the same place I am and knows nothing about soccer, so. This is why you're here. Yeah, I'm because, super stoked about it. Yeah, it's someone that can you can absorb a lot of knowledge. So let's go ahead and open this. We'll kind of go pack by pack and uh, we can talk about what I'm looking for um, out of this particular product. This product in particular, uh, UEFA club competition. So that includes a lot of different things, namely the Champions League, which is a league of made up of clubs around Europe from like the top English Premier League teams, the top Spanish La Liga teams, and they compete uh, to see who the best club in Europe is essentially. Okay. But it also includes lower uh, UEFA leagues um, to include more rookies. That's top, Tops did that. It used to be just Champions League and Finest and Tops Chrome, but now they expand it so they can include more rookies and more teams and more players essentially. Does okay. that make sense? So there's like a club level before the Champions League? It's all it's so, all clubs. Oh, so okay, okay. like uh, Vinicius Jr. on the box here mm -hmm. is Real Madrid. That okay. is that is a club they're always expected to be in the running. They actually won it this year, the Champions League. Okay. But UEFA Europa League is a little lesser. So teams that maybe didn't qualify for Champions League, it's kind of like another tournament. Okay, so you have to qualify for this league. And right. Then, okay. So they they used to buy standings the year the year before. So got it. Okay. In English Premier League specifically, it's the top four in the standings go to the Champions League, and then I think they have like a, a playoff for like the, the fifth one. Okay. That, I think that changes. I'm not entirely sure, but that's what UEFA is. It's uh, European club like competitions all together. Okay, so the top teams go on to play this tournament. Right, okay. right. That makes more sense. Um, it's almost like it, if it was like baseball, it's like they made an all-star team from, or like The only way to the, compare it would be if you took like, like the world teams series. from the Mexican League and like maybe Dominican League and had them to do a Major League Baseball. So okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That That's kind of the best way to equate it. Obviously it's kind of lopsided if right. you look at it like that because that league's a bit different. But with soccer, I think it works pretty well. Yeah. It's very entertaining. And there's so many more clubs around the, around the world for soccer than these other sports. Right, I feel like it's so cool to be like a big soccer fan and really into it because one, you do learn so much more about the sport and the different players as well, but I feel like you your fandom gets to like last a long time. So I feel like soccer like never ends. Like I feel like there's not an off season for soccer, is right. there? I mean, there is and there isn't. So currently there's international tournaments happening. So namely UEFA European Championships, okay. which is, it's all nations, right? Spain, right. Germany, um, and the Copa America, which is North and South America. Okay. Uh, so the quarter the quarterfinals for Copa America start, I think, this weekend as well as the quarterfinals for the UEFA European Championships. Okay. Um, so that's nation based. However, there's a lot of players that are in this set that are currently playing and kind of boosting their stock and value. Okay. Um, so typically summer in Europe is for international play. Okay. Whereas like, uh, like North American and American soccer and football will run from spring to fall in Europe, Asia, and I believe Africa, it goes fall to like spring. It's like a winter sport, essentially. Okay. Wow. So they're really, if, if you want to watch soccer, you can watch it just about any day Like year. literally always. Pretty much, yeah. There's That's always crazy. something going on in the world. It's the biggest sport in the world for a reason. Right, so, fair. All right, so um, who are we chasing out of this? In this product specifically, I'm looking for a Lamine Yamal rookie. Okay, he is who does 16 he play for? years old. 
Wow. His club is FC Barcelona, okay. and he plays for the Spanish national team. Okay. He is the youngest player to start and score for Barcelona, and he is the youngest player to start and score in uh, the UEFA European Championships. That's crazy. Like, uh, yeah. when I was 16, I mean, yeah, I was playing ball, but I wasn't even considering going pro. Right, like, he's, <laughs> he's, or a, he's setting a, records. He's in uncharted territory, That's right? That's insane. He's, 16, he's doing homework while, you know, playing for his national yeah, team and what? also playing for one of the biggest clubs. They're in, probably in the doing world. champagne showers in the locker room and he has like a Gatorade in the corner. <laughs> yeah, possibly. <laughs> They're still in um, the European Championships. They play Germany, I believe, tomorrow. Jeez. So, huge That's awesome. match, but uh, yeah, super exciting. Other than that, there's a few legends we're looking for. Um, you know, I'd love to pull like a Zinedine Zidane auto or a, um, or like a Kaka auto out of this. But the rookie Chase, Lamine Yamal, that's that's who I would love to pull out of this. Right. So my luck on personal boxes isn't the best, so maybe maybe it'll change right now that we get some cameras. See, out. I'm the opposite. If I get a box for myself that I open, I typically do pretty okay. But if I get in a group break, I'm toasted. Never, never, never ends well. All right. So. Enough of you grilling me with questions. <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead. We'll go, we'll go pack by pack here. Oh, I'm gonna get in on the rip and action. Yeah. Right. Um, so we're looking for two autos. There's gonna be some number parallels and some inserts in here. Okay. Pretty simple layout for finest as always. But let's see what we can see what we can hit here. So we'll have a few base cards. I don't think I've. I know we've ripped this for group breaks and stuff, but I've haven't really like looked at the cards. Yeah, find us is always a fun design. Um, typically, famous as a baseball product. So that's a prize footballer's insert of Tomas Muller. Uh, FC Bayern there. Oscar Glaub, first class rookies. Uh, Israeli national. Um, FC Salzburg, he's a good youngster. Uh, and some base. So nothing much in that pack. Just a couple of inserts. Not even a refractor, so yeah. I always found it really interesting with soccer which obviously, like I said, my knowledge is very slim, that they don't put the actual team names on the kits. They, you have to recognize the crest, so. Yeah, I was, like it's. I know you can see like that N, mm -hmm. that would be Napoli. But yeah, there's no, cause there's a lot of sponsors. Right, the right? sponsorship. So you can see the crest is pretty small. Yeah. Um, and that goes for, I think all of them, even in North American soccer, it's like that. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a soccer kit that <laughs> has like the jerseys, like the team. Yeah, so you get good at recognizing yeah, those rather than like so the though. names per se. Right. Um, and sometimes they change the colors or there's alternates. But yeah, you're back now. Okay. Mine wasn't a good start, so. All right. See how this goes. So I look at cards a lot different than like other, other people do, I feel like, just because I do a lot of like art stuff. I always am like looking at the design, like the designs of inserts and parallels and stuff. Like what do you I feel love, about the finest design? I like the colors because I feel like soccer kits are pretty loud and the colors pop. So I think that the colors in the backgrounds on these look pretty cool. Yeah, I hope they bring this design to baseball this year too. That would be cool. The finest baseball. Like I like more loud, poppy. For this cards. set, I, I like it quite a bit. Um, Got some rookie cards in there. Yeah, Riyad, he just he just transferred from Real Betis, a good rookie. Right. Anyone you recognize? No. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, what uh, what team is that? That is Real Madrid. Okay. These actually write say, them on there. Oh, oh, it's yeah, right in front of my face. They have these. I was just looking at the crest. They have them written. Sometimes they're hard to see. Okay. But. We got a top of the world from. You can say that. No, you can say that, right? You want me to try to say that? <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this. Kavika. How do? You, how? What is the like KV sound? Kavicha. Mm. So <laughs> his nickname is K2 because two Ks. K and then K. Yeah, K. And That's K. it. He's clever. Georgian. He's 21 or 22. His club is Napoli. Uh, Georgia just made the knockout stages of UEFA Euros in their first ever international tournament. The population of the entire country is 3 million. So it's quite the accomplishment. Oh my gosh. And he is a uh, very good player. Hvicha Hrtskelia is how you say his name. How did you, you, 
Like I've sat in and top loaded for you for a few like soccer braids and UFC too now is getting very like international. Right. How did you get to the point where you can pronounce all these names so well? Research. Like a lot of it is knowing a little bit about different languages. I can't speak French and I can barely speak Spanish. But a lot of the, once you understand certain, how to pronounce certain things, it can kind of just transfer to like a lot of it. You can yeah. apply that knowledge to other things. That's fair. And then a lot of it is just uh, research. Just research and practice. Yeah. I've but always some, some been like- Some of the names, there's zero chance I would get right with that. Really? Putting time well, and effort yeah, into like it. Well, yeah, like that one, that's insane. Yeah. But I've always found that super impressive. Like when watching you break, the way you just like spit out these names. I haven't even like finished reading, like trying to see how many letters are in that name and you're already on the third card. <laughs> like. It's just, yeah, it's just practice and, and actual effort. Um, we have one refractor so far. So we have a lot coming up. I would okay, think as far okay. as numbered cards. And we still have two autos. We only have four packs left. Oh, geez. All so, right, let's see. Gotta have something here coming up. What is your favorite? I get is league the correct like terminology yeah, to call it? Would be the correct okay, one. what's your favorite league to watch or keep up with? I don't know if I honestly that's tough to answer. Um, hold that thought. We got some color coming up here. There's ooh, a ooh, rookie ooh. of uh, Folha. We have a first numbered card. Oh, there he is again. FC Porto rookie Bernardo Folha. Okay. Side of. 125. So I see how they did the color on this product. That's cool. Yeah, so those kind of pop. And then we have an auto now. Oh, back to back. Kinda... It's a rookie auto of Omari Forsey's uh, Manchester United player. Nice. Is that pretty decent? Yeah. Okay. Not not what we're looking for. Right. Yeah, not what we're looking for. We need a we need a good next half of the box. That's for sure. So the pressure is on you now oh, geez. To, uh, okay. to help me out here. I'll do my best. I'm feeling. I'm feeling the burn right now. Are you? So hopefully we can recover. Favorite league though, English Premier League is the easiest to grasp and pick up. There's the most money in that league, and it's probably the most competitive of all of all the leagues in the world. Um, you have clubs like Manchester City, Manchester okay. United, Liverpool, and it's broadcast in English pretty easily. So right. <laughs> that's that's another who, thing. Who who plays in that league that like I would? Erling Holland. Okay, that's okay. Got it. That's probably the, the biggest name right now. That Prize footballers. It's a nice insert. It's Gonzalo Ramos. Gonzalo. I was going to say Gonzalo. Gonzalo. I don't yeah, know. What's that's that like little... A, it's like an S is how you pronounce Gonzalo it. I don't know what it's called. Ramos. I don't know what that character <laughs> is on. called. But. Okay. Comebacks card. Comebacks. So those are famous comebacks from Champions League matches. Nice. What we got? Ooh. What we got? Added 275. Bradley. You can say that name. Bradley Bark. Is it just Barcola? It's just Barcola. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to get fancy with it and say Barcola. That's a solid rookie. Nice. I'm okay, I'm okay, okay with that card, so thank you. Paris Saint Germain. There yeah. you go. Paris Saint Germain. There you go. There you go. For you. You like that. <laughs> and then we got a first class rookie of Isaac Babadi. Yeah, Babadi. Babadi. He's got some potential. Nice. That is a base insert, though. Okay, okay. We still we still need more from this box. All right, we cool. still need more. Got two more packs, right? Are you learning anything about soccer? I am. And I'm enjoying this. Do you too. have a favorite team and club already? <laughs> yeah, I actually have a player I'm already PCing and chasing. I'm going to jump on eBay right when we're done with this and just get to bidding like crazy. All right. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> I want to get more people involved in the soccer. No, part, but so. I do enjoy soccer. I mean, whenever we took that trip with the company to the Orlando game, right? I, I was like, oh, this is a sick environment. Like, it was so fun to just be there. Nothing makes me emotional, hardly ever, except for sports. And like, right, it's re it's real life drama. It is, and even just like, I, I was an athlete, and just like, being in that environment, and like the ah, like the constant, like just screaming, and a lot I put myself in their shoes. I'm like, oh my god, like this is their, like I made it, and I don't know. It always, On sports a... always get me emotional, and then being in that environment, I was like, holy crap, like I could not imagine playing in front of a crowd like this. So soccer or football around the world. Outside of the United States or like North America, there's so much more passion on a broad scale. Right. Like it runs much deeper, it seems like. South American clubs, European clubs, it's just the passion you can really see it. It right. gets it gets it goes overboard sometimes to the point of like things are dangerous and there's riots. And really? Whatever. Oh yeah. Jeez. You can you can find some uh people getting crazy out here. You with can soccer. Find, you can find some intense videos and you see reports every now and then that matches don't even get played they get suspended or whatever uh -uh. Because there's deep rivalries oh yeah 
It's, of the fans or the players? Yeah, think think like college football, but like times ten. It's oh kind, it gets gosh. it's fanatical. It's very in, that's in, crazy in the literal sense. That's so. making me want to like jump in there. All right, need a big card. Keep it going here. So, what is the league that's like, like Orlando City plays in? Like, what is that league? That's MLS Major League Soccer. Oh, okay. So that just covers, I believe, just Canada, the United States. Okay. Got I think it. it's up to over thirty teams now, which is pretty cool. I think San Diego is the newest uh, MLS club. That's kind of exciting. And it goes, it's the same for women's, right? Like, um, like Pride. What is the National Women's Soccer League? I believe. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think it covers Canada and the United States. Okay. Definitely United States. Cool. Um, yeah, nice to have a couple of hometown teams. Yeah. I want to go to a Pride game. This is Sané Refractor. We have a blue here. Mm -hmm. Kevin De Bruyne, so he's been one of the best players of the past decade or so. That's a familiar face. Yeah, he's uh, one of the best midfielders in the world. Uh, won a Champions League at Manchester City uh, last year. And yeah, he's just really good at everything, pretty much. Gabriel Martinelli, Brazilian for Arsenal. All right, so we got like one more auto in the next. Uh, oh, man. In the, in the last pack here. I hope we can get you what you're looking for. Yeah, it's a great sport to watch. Um, it can seem a little boring to people, but I think once you sit and watch it a little bit and understand like tactically what's happening, it can be a lot better. And also, to be honest, club soccer or football is more entertaining than international soccer or football. It's players that play and practice together way more than they do with their international teams. So it's, right. it's like the yeah. play is better. So whenever they play on the international teams, that's like they have like no time between making it's, that it's team little. and actually playing right. right so world cup you you obviously have qualifiers throughout like a couple years right. but at the world cup itself you probably have a month of like worth of practice yeah that's maybe. crazy i watched that documentary of like the women's uh usa team and i was like they were talking about like the getting the call and then like actually playing i was like that was it seemed like it was like two days later which i know it was on the documentary but still it was like, I was, like that's no time there, there's no, yeah international play there's no time prize footballers what do you got for me bukayo Buk bukayo saka yep hey. that's correct he's really good this guy oh Saka. Hyung. oh Hyung Jung young yeah. yang yeah, Ooh, that's right. watch out he's got a lot of stuff coming oh, up 250 a Mon a Forsen? Yeah. Is he, You're a master. Is he a, is he a good rookie? He's solid. Is this an auto? We got an yeah. auto. All right. I like what I see. I like what I see. Oh, I like that. Nice. So. Yankuba Min Minte? Yeah. Yankuba Minte. I think he just transferred to Brighton, who's in the English Premier League. I like this one. I've I've honestly been collecting his cards a bit. I think really? there's some value there. And there they're going go. up a, a tick. You know, he's nice. He went to a bigger league now. So, yeah, we de we definitely like that. That's a cool one. I like that purple on there with the, with the colors in the back. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of the colors, so that's like a, they call that like, like a, a vapor. Okay. That like, that like green oh, okay. pattern background. It's like yeah. an aqua blue vapor. Nice. Well, I mean. Okay, so out of these. Here's what we got. Yeah, out of these hits, what are you doing with these, personally? Hmm. So everybody collects different. Right. Everybody hobbies different. I like the Barcola, but unfortunately it's kind of a higher numbered parallel. Mm -hmm. I would probably, I might grade that. I'll have to look it over for grading, but I'll probably sell that. I think nice. I'm gonna grade the Minte. To keep or to sell? To sell, I, I would think. Cool. The others I'll probably just sell as singles. Right. Definitely not the best box, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with uh, that purple shimmer. All right, well, we made Hallie a soccer expert. First episode, great success. I love it. How they learned how to say like seven new names. That's impressive though. Some of them are oh. not easy. Um, it's because I got a good coach over here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for watching. We don't have a name yet for this segment. Um, and this is going to be recurring. I want you guys to leave what you think we should name the segment in the comments below. If I like one of the ones we end up using it, I'm going to throw the, the person who uh, suggested it $25 in break credit to LadenSportsCards.com. Heck yeah. Uh, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, stick around for the next one.